Welcome to Selective Imagery. This is Jeff Neville. I'm a lifelong photographer who created this channel to hopefully inspire you to grab your gear, get out of the house, take some pictures, and if you learn a little bit along the way, that's a bonus. Photography is my passion. We'll take a quick journey through some of my images. If you're sensitive to movement, skip ahead to the 2 minute and 41 second mark. Otherwise, enjoy this quick introduction to what I typically take pictures of, followed by the uh, video topic for the week. Enjoy. As you can see from the previous image, I do night photography. Do a lot of birds. I'll talk about vintage cameras. I'll take pictures along the beach pictures in different travel locations, black and white photography with vintage cameras, spoonbills, one of my favorite birds, close-up photography and macro photography. Try to get uh, birds with food, street photography, minimalist type photography, automobile car shows, and some things that might upset you some things that are funny and some things that are really cute as you can see I have a wide variety of interests although predominantly right now it is bird photography but I've done night photography I like taking pictures at the beaches so I have a wide variety of interests street photography at night Osprey is one of my favorite birds of prey and uh, small birds are no exception I mean they're very enjoyable to try to find and take pictures of and I always a sucker for for flowers but mainly like I said I do focus mostly nowadays on birding and we'll stop moving around here for a second so you can recover a little bit before we talk about our next video. Welcome to a few days at the park, Huntington Beach State Park in South Carolina, to be exact. We start off with, well, a nice sunrise with a few birds in the sky. Now, sometimes you get some interesting shots this pelican looks like it's poking at the head of another bird, which is farther in the background. Shorebirds are always fun to watch with that kiss of light on the water. The great egret just sits amongst the reeds, relaxing. Well, this one looks like he fell into a bad spot looks really really muddy to me while this tricolor heron decides well enough's enough I'm gonna go to the other side while this long distance shot of a spoonbill by itself in a tree is fun and here we have a group of ibis in flight which will follow up here with a short video clip Obviously a cloudy day, to say the least. Now here it's meal time for this great blue heron, who subsequently flies around the corner to get on some ground, where he drops the fish, it almost gets away from him, and he just keeps stabbing it and stabbing it until he immobilizes it enough and it's still working around but it's not going anywhere now ah, here we go this is where we do the you know rinse off the food before you eat it the water acts like a nice lubricant too to help slide that fish right down the throat as you will see 
There it goes. And that's the end of that. Here we have an ibis who managed to get a good sized crab going down its throat. And here's a video clip of an ibis taking its morning bath. As you can see from the flow of the water, the tide is starting to come in a little bit. And it decides, hey, I've got running water. Might as well take a bath. And I love it when they beat their wings in the water. Now once they're done with the bath, the funny thing is, they'll walk around and they'll just leave the wings out. They want everything to dry off. Now what else did we find today? Well, we got a few shots of an osprey. Now there's three shots here. They're all the same bird, same location. And I got the 500 PF. So whatever zooming or I do is with what God gave me for a zoom, it's called a pair of legs. So walk around, move, get a different angle. Get it so you're not just getting the sky in the background. Get more of the trees in the background. Here's a small uh, downy woodpecker. And this was very early in the morning. Um, you know, kind of strong light, backlining, Cooper Sock. Here's a short video clip, a couple of short video clips of a cormorant eating a shrimp. Now, I've seen them eat hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fish but I've never seen him eat a shrimp before so I found that really really interesting and unfortunately because I uh, got so involved shooting a couple video clips of this limited uh, action I didn't really get any st stills that were worth anything but that's all right in this case I'll, I'll have to live with just having video it's funny how the antenna, you know, are sticking out of the mouth for a while. Now we go to another day where it was, as my dad would say, the fog was as thick as pea soup. And it was, and I was, it took over gee, three plus hours for the fog to go away. And you can see here, I mean, you can hardly see anything. Now, the fog was a tease, because sometimes, okay, you shoot closer to shore, you might find a spot where the fog was almost non-existent. And that would change quickly, you know. You'd get a few shots in here or there, and eventually the fog would start coming back. Here just um great egret you can see the the bloody water in the air there I really like this shot I mean the uh, wood storks are out there on a little island you got the fog you got a little pink from a spoonbill the next two shots uh, this one and the next one I believe is a red wing blackbird and he's eating seeds and what I like is that background is supposed to be water, but that's the fog. That is the fog in the, in the picture. 
and lucky enough that a, uh, an eagle decided to stop by for a little while. Now that it's starting to get cooler down here, uh, the eagles are going to be a little more active, the few that we have. And here we have a young uh, wood stork. Obviously, it has the uh, feathers around the head. And this egret was funny, you know, tilting its head looking at me. And the one thing good, even though it took a long time for this fog to lift, when it finally did, you know, it was very good diffused light. It was perfect for getting spoonbill pictures. I mean, you, you couldn't ask for better light. And this is an older spoonbill because it's bald. And uh, what I like about spoonbills this age is they usually have phenomenal color, especially in the eye. A lot of the young spoonbills don't have a pink eye. It takes a while for you to earn that trademark. And then here's um, a few video clips that you'll see of the spoonbill. They're, they're just beautiful birds. They really, they really are. I'll have to get to Florida someday or some area where I can get them in uh, larger quantities. They like to shake their head a lot. I try to do that sometimes when the wife asks me to do something, but it doesn't usually do me any good. We're coming up on the, uh, the final video clip and the end of this particular video. So here's the photographer's challenge. Try to stand on one leg as long as this video clip is. Let me know how you make out. I get tired just watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, you know, thumbs up, make some comments, share it with your friends, and, uh, I'll let you know let me know what you think of the the little introduction if you decided to watch that I don't know whether I want to use that uh, every week or whether I want to um, maybe just do it once a month uh, you know in case I have some new subscribers gives them a little bit of a preview of what I do um, let me know what you thought of it let me know if you think I should just use that that intro you know maybe once a month or use it every week and obviously you can you could skip ahead uh, and ignore it especially if you're someone that's a regular on my channel so let me know what you think and um, remember my motto enjoy life capture some of it have a good one everybody happy shooting